Here we are in Springfield, Massachusetts on William Street. We're in front of the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. This building itself was made in 1911. The parish was made in 1909. And the growth of the Italian community was so quick that they had to build a gorgeous large church. Now it has a lot of components to its side is the rectory in a rectangular building. It's actually connected on a walkway to the main church. And then the church itself has a few statues, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the front. And one in the front is the Virgin Mary with Jesus. And it has a beautiful tower. And in that tower, we just heard the bells clinging. So it's a, it's a beautiful sound and sight. They're gonna have a mass, it's probably a special mass here. So we heard now the interior bells, or the chimes. They're going to have a special master. I don't know what for. Now it's a gorgeous front to it, but the stained glass windows inside uh, I heard are extremely gorgeous. This is an Italian community. They probably have a lot of Italian artisans working on it. And the statues are gorgeous. And the church itself is very beautiful. Now if you look at the Flemish blonde brick going up the steeple. It looks like the work of John Denio, which who is the most prolific architect of churches around the Connecticut Valley, and especially in Springfield, where he was born and raised. So the best part of this is around the side of France, so we're going to go over there now. We're on now the right side of the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church, and it has a beautiful nave and crucial form, and the very back has the social center. But you can see also another statue back here, and you can, you can see that the roof itself is of slate. And they use beautiful brickwork throughout, like I mentioned before, Dunahue was the architect in this, and you can tell his gorgeous work in the very front. Um, the style of the church is Romanesque or Neo Romanesque, but it, it's a uh, Italian palazzo style of steeple too. So it's a very unique look and very beautiful. And the steps are gorgeous, the fence is gorgeous, and so it was a much beloved church. And it's still very active. And I'm glad you got to listen to the two depths of music, the bell and the chimes. And um, if you go to the webpage, it'll have many improvements on all the information and stories about it. So thank you very much.